Hi there, I'm Seraphine Lillian, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to set your desk up so that you can work in a neutral position. So we're gonna show you before and after, okay? So here we have our model, Stephanie, who is going to be demoing for us, and she has her Wacom tablet there, and she's working at her desk with her laptop in her chair. So I'm just gonna tell you what I see from an ergonomic perspective that are issues with her setup. I, I know, um, even though I can't see right now, that her feet are not touching the ground. She is sitting forward in the chair when she's working and her head and neck is forward as well. And so the reason that she has her desk, her chair so high is because the desk is at a fixed height and it's a little bit too high for her specific physique. So we're gonna do some quick fixes. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get her something to rest her feet on. So we have a couple of books over there. So Stephanie, why don't you grab those books and just kind of move your chair out away from your desk so we can get a shot of what you look like first without with your feet just dangling. So see how she kind of had to use the armrest to get herself on the chair because the seat height is too high and so she has her toes touching the ground but her heels are not touching the ground. Okay, so go ahead and scoot over to those books and go ahead and plant your feet on them. Sometimes you have to move the spoky things, you know, to a, a position that's gonna allow you to get close enough to it. Perfect. So now she's got a solid place for her feet to rest. Isn't that awesome? And the great thing physiologically is that if she's resting, if her feet are dangling for long periods of time, it's gonna stop the nerve flow to the back of her legs. So when she has her feet supported on a solid surface, she's gonna be able to have more circulation down her legs and not get that feeling of numbness when she does get up to take her break, which is a good thing. So now, Stephanie, if you wouldn't mind just kind of putting the books all the way underneath your desk and um, bringing your chair, again, as close to the desk as you can. Okay, so how does that feel? It feels a lot better, I feel more supported. Yeah, that's great. Now, the next thing we're gonna work on is the angle of the backrest of the chair. So she's actually using the back of the chair now, but you can see that the chair is kind of angled backwards a lot. So we wanna get the chair to be, kind of fill the top of the chair in, so that instead of it leaning back like that, it's kind of in a more upright position. So we have some towels over there. I don't know how many towels we're gonna need, but let's just try try a couple of towels and, and see, and just what you ideally wanna do with the towels is you wanna try to get them like 50% over the chair so that the chair, so that they don't kind of slide down. Yeah, like that, that looks good. Perfect. Like that? Yeah. Okay, so try just sitting in the chair and seeing, seeing if that, um, That helps a little bit. It feels better, but I still kind of feel like I'm leaning back a little bit. Okay, let's try another towel. And let's see how that works. Same, better, but still, I'm still leaning a little bit. All right, let's get that big towel. Let's, let's see if we really need to really fill that space in. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to have it 50-50, 50, 50, 50 in the front, 50 in the back. Yeah, more like that, okay. And again, if this works for her, I would just take some duct tape and just wrap it around the chair. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, now while we have you here, I just want to explain a little bit about this chair in general. So this is, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe an Office Max chair or something like that, an inexpensive chair that has wheels and has height adjustability. This isn't a chair that I would recommend anyone purchasing because the armrests are fixed to the seat pan and to the backrest. 
So there's no adjustability in this chair. You can, you can only raise the, the height of the chair. You can't adjust the seat pan in any way. You can't adjust the backrest in any way. So ideally, if you're looking for an inexpensive chair, you wanna make sure that you're gonna have some adjustability in the chair and more adjustability than just height adjustability. So how does that feel? Good. Yeah, so ideally when you're sitting, you want to sit on the on the bottom of your pelvic bone, on the bottom of your sit, what we call sits bones. Do you feel like you're putting the weight there now? Yeah, it feels a lot better than it was um, before I put the towels on. Yeah, and before you put the towels on, you probably felt the pressure in the center of your body on the bottom of your tailbone. Yeah, yes, exactly. So you don't want to be sitting on your tailbone for long periods of time. That's <laughs> not going to be comfortable. So sitting on the hip bones is important. Okay, so go ahead and scoot everything now all the way back. Sorry to have you do all this, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, so now she's got her feet supported. She's got her spine in a neutral position. Now let's see what your head and neck looks like when you're, when you're working. Okay, so that's the last thing that we have to work on is the head and neck. So ideally, what you wanna do is you wanna keep that ear and shoulder lined up, okay? And you wanna just nod your head down and then radiate your eyes down to look at the tablet. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get that neck involved in the task um, because that's gonna, again, throw the cervical vertebrae out of alignment. So you just keep that ear and shoulder lined up, nod the head down, and then start drawing. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks really good. How does that feel? Feels really good. It feels a lot better. Feels a lot better. Yeah. Okay, cool. And now what are you doing with the laptop over there? So um, I am using the keyboard for any, um, like if I need to undo something or any shortcut keys okay. um, that I need to do on the drawing. So let's see you reaching for the keyboard. So that's, that's a little bit of an extended reach. Can you move the laptop just a little bit closer? and still be centered with your Wacom. Are you still centered there? Yeah, like that. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to look at the screen at all? Um, I don't usually look at the screen um, unless I'm just kind of zooming out to, to take a look at the drawing. Um, but I do look at the keyboard. Okay, so then, then probably for this application, the, the screen is probably fine. But just try to remember to keep that um, the, what it, the type typing or the keyboard kind of have your elbow kind of close to the side of your body when you're doing that and not reaching really far using your whole arm to get to the keyboard. Okay, so that's a couple of quick fixes uh, when you have an actual desk and a chair that you can do your creative work on and hopefully you can do some quick fixes for your own workstation and Remember to take breaks every 30 minutes. You want to get out of your chair for one to two minutes and take a short little break. All right. Thank you guys.